sure most of you have seen the YouTube videos. The flying silver carp jumping onto fishermen's boats. The elusive big head carp submerged just below the waterline, grazing on the plankton supplied by the river. Both species are two types of Asian carp. An adult big head carp can weigh over 100 pounds, while the silver carp packs a punch with an average weight of 40 pounds. Both species of Asian carp can eat almost half of their body weight, and even juveniles can eat up to 120% of their body weight each day, competing with and potentially starving out native species. Great Lakes communities are concerned with the potential impacts these fish may have on the ecosystems of our natural treasures, the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River watershed basins. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Jim Schreiner. I serve with the Army Corps of Engineers as the Deputy Commander of the Chicago District. Today what I'd like to talk to you about is how the Chicago District is responsible for the overall planning and communication behind the Asian carp uh, strategy, four-prong strategy that I'm going to describe for you in this video. The Corps is really the federal engineering arm of a larger binational uh, interagency effort to ensure that Asian carp do not become established in the Great Lakes region. We want to protect the native fisheries, fishermen, and all the commercial and recreational benefits these waterways provide to communities. The Corps is extremely confident in the effectiveness of its current ANS or Aquatic Nuisance Species projects to include the dispersal barrier, also known as the electric barrier. Close collaboration with our partners from non-governmental organizations, academia, municipal, state, federal, and binational stakeholders help to ensure that emerging technologies and policy issues are addressed and shared in real time. Protecting the Great Lakes is not only our congressional directive, but it's also at the heart of the district's very purpose. Chicago is a Great Lakes community, and so the core district employees here are 100% committed to ensuring that the Asian carp overall projects and strategy are done to the highest quality. The Corps is fighting Asian carp and aquatic nuisance species establishment through a four-pronged strategy. In the strategy's first line, the Corps operates and maintains electric barriers that put electricity in water to deter Asian carp establishment in the Great Lakes and the interbasin movement of fish and other aquatic nuisance species. The second line of the strategy ensures completeness of our electric barriers. The Corps studies a range of factors that could potentially reduce the effectiveness of this electric field and looks at alternate pathways around the barrier. Line 3 is a robust interagency monitoring program to help determine the location of Asian carp and analyze the effectiveness of the barriers. The fourth and final line of this strategy is a study on potential controls for all aquatic nuisance species movement between the Mississippi River and Great Lakes basins. The Corps is not idle when conducting this study. Active prevention projects are ongoing and very effective. The Corps operates and maintains the electric dispersal barriers to deter the interbasin passage of Asian carp and other aquatic nuisance species via the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal. These barriers are located approximately 30 miles from Lake Michigan in Romeoville, Illinois. These barriers operate like an invisible fence, pulsing a direct current through steel electrodes connected to the canal. Fish feel an increasingly stronger shock as they enter and move forward through the electric field. The fish become uncomfortable and finally turn around. Fence and concrete barriers along the Des Plaines River and a stone blockage in the Illinois and Michigan Canal were constructed based off of congressionally directed barrier effectiveness study findings. These measures reduce the likelihood of any Asian carp potentially bypassing the electric barriers during flood situations. Based on other study report findings, the Corps changed electric barriers operating settings to immobilize not just the larger fish, but very small fish and recommended the construction and installation of bar screens for two sluice gates at both the O'Brien and Chicago locks. The Corps also studied how bubbles, lights, and sounds can deter Asian carp movement. As a part of the third line of effort within our overall four-pronged strategy, the Corps participates in extensive monitoring 
within the Chicago area waterway system and through the upper Illinois River system to determine whether any Asian carp have moved into that area. Monitoring data helps determine the location of downstream Asian carp populations and monitors for the presence of bighead and silver carp above the barriers. It also helps in analyzing the effectiveness of the barriers. In electrofishing, an electric current is emitted from a boat and stunned fish are netted. In ultrasonic telemetry, individual coded transmitters are implanted into fish of different species and sizes. This determines their behavior near the barriers. The transmitters range from the size of a battery down to a medicine tablet. We monitor their movements through submerged receivers. No tag fish have passed upstream towards Lake Michigan through the barriers. Environmental DNA, or eDNA, is a process that extracts genetic material such as cells containing DNA from mucus, feces, and or urine from collecting water samples to detect the genetic presence of big head and silver carp. Video cameras and hydroacoustic sensing technologies are used to observe real-time fish behavior near the electric barriers. Our efficacy studies and robust monitoring program enable us to say with certainty that the barriers work. The Corps is also evaluating a range of options and technologies to prevent the interbasin movement of all aquatic nuisance species by aquatic pathways. Glimmerous, or the Great Lakes Mississippi River Interbasin Study, is a complex study that addresses 18 other potential aquatic connections along the nearly 1,500 mile long basin divide, not just the continuous connection in the Chicago area. The Corps is very confident in the effectiveness of its overall barrier project and the four-prong strategy, mainly because the great partnerships that we've been able to experience with all our federal, state, binational partners uh, has been absolutely outstanding. I feel fortunate to be a part of this team of teams that has brought together over 70 actors uh, within this binational uh, strategy and we will continue to move out and making sure that the barriers and this overall strategy stays on glide path to being the most effective deterrent for Asian carp movement towards the Great Lakes as well as any aquatic nuisance species interbasin transfer. The Corps encourages the public to stay informed of the Asian carp strategy. We all have a part to play in keeping these invasive fish from establishing in our Great Lakes. Thank you for staying connected, building strong SAONs.